Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Christmas is over, January's over, and so in my opinion that means it's basically summer. So we can start booking our summer vacations, our festivals, day trips. Uh, it's gonna be great, I can't wait for summer. It's actually really sunny and hot out today, even though it is February. Global warming. Ooh. But because it is nearly summer, um, we have these amazing dolls from Rainbow High. They are the Rainbow High uh, Spring... Spring... Spring? I thought they were called Spring Break dolls, but it doesn't actually say Spring Break anywhere on them. It just says Pacific Coast. Pacific Coast, which reminds me of the school in... Zoe 101, uh, that show was so great, I used to love it as a kid, although Jamie, Jamie Lynn Spears, ooh, she's a bit questionable. But yeah, they went to Pacific Coast Academy, and this is Pacific Coast High, I believe. I have this one, who is Hallie Cap Capri, Capri, I think, and this is Simone Summers. I love the colour scheme for this one, and the quality is so high on these dolls, I can already tell. First of all, I will give you a really quick look at the boxes and then we will open them. The Rainbow High boxes are always incredibly high quality um, and they look very luxurious. Although I obviously have a lot of plastic on them and just a lot of unnecessary cardboard. But anyway, it says uh, down here, watch on YouTube. They have their YouTube show, which I actually haven't watched, but it looks quite high quality. They have this very cool, it kind of looks like the Instagram logo, like ombre, like gradient um, colour rainbow effect going on all around the box. There's gold detailing, this bit looks like a palm tree, love that. Um, it says collect the rainbow. In this kind of like separate little box here there are the accessories and the beach towel um, which look really cute. There's the other dolls you can get in the line down here. On the back we have this incredible image of all the different dolls. Now I've mentioned this before but one of the reasons why I don't love Rainbow High as much as I could do is because I hate the overuse of, like, branding. It just comes off really tacky to me, you know what I mean? Like, all the kind of, like, fake Burberry, um, fake Gucci, fake Prada, I, I just don't like it, um, and it looks kind of trashy. Uh, in my opinion. But I do really like these dolls, I think their outfits are really cute. I almost got this one, I probably will get her at some point, she's like pearl themed. Obviously I have this one and this one. The boy's really cute, I actually really like all the dolls in this line. Um, I just wish they didn't have the branding on their outfits. This one's really cute, I probably will end up getting all of them. When I first saw them I wasn't that impressed, but on closer inspection, uh, I really like them all. It says down here, meet the students of Pacific Coast High, the most elite fine arts high school on the West Coast. Here the days are sunny, the classes are poolside, and the drama rolls in and out like the tides. <gasps> I can't believe they mentioned drama, I love that. Especially since when you're playing with dolls you often kind of act out like dramatic conflict scenarios. They're not just gonna all get along the whole time because that's boring. But this kind of sounds like the blurb for like a reality TV show or something, <laughs> which I find quite funny. Okay, the other doll's box is fundamentally the same. Um, it just says YouTube here instead of watch on YouTube, which is kind of random. The, the images down here are slightly different. Uh, the image on the back is the same. That's interesting. This one's written in loads of different languages. This must be the international version. Let's put the sunglasses back on, why not? Anyway, doll fans, now that I've shown you these dolls in their boxes, I'm gonna take them out of the box and give you guys a closer look at the dolls. Okay, doll fans, ding! They are out of their packaging and these dolls are stunning. These dolls are stunning. If you wanted one of those videos where I complain loads, this is probably not gonna be one of those because these dolls, they are really nice. And I managed to get these for £35 each, which I think is like a really great price. This kind of quality, this level of quality, if it was a Mattel doll, £120 probably is what you'd have to pay. Just ridiculous. Okay, let's talk about this queen first. She is absolutely stunning. I really love the fact that all of these dolls have very kind of like beachy, tropical colour schemes. I thought that's really clever. Her skirt is very reminiscent of like a sunset. 
She's got her cute little visor, um, and it's not plastic, it's actually sewn together, which is really nice. It's got a little clasp in the back there. Just the attention to detail and quality on this doll is unmatched. I mean, this would have been made of plastic if it was made by any other doll company. She's got a little scrunchie, and uh, I love her hair. Like, look at it. It looks, again, like a sunset. It's really soft. There was a bit of glue in it, but I brushed the glue out really easily. There are a couple little flyaways in her in her hairstyle up here, so I may have to like take it out and redo it, but it's really cute. She's got these sunglasses that just make her look like such a baddie, and I love that. It's got rainbow high on the side. I actually love these sunglasses, I want to get some. <laughs> and then behind the sunglasses, these amazing piercing eyes. She has a more movable neck joint than some of the earlier um, monst Monster High? Rainbow High dolls. I love the fact that they've given them really soft skin. Well, not skin, plastic, but you know what I mean. Um, on these ones, instead of the kind of shinier plastic they used to use. Her lips are stunning, her sparkly eye makeup is stunning. Just stunning. Startening. She has a really cute swimsuit on. It's a little bit tacky, I think, the swimsuit, but I can ignore it. And then she's got this really cute little wraparound skirt. The material's really nice. And then she has these kind of wedge high-heeled sandals, which are really cute. And now, a very interesting element of these dolls is they have spare feet. Spare feet. So what you can do is pull off the bottom part of her leg, <laughs> like she's got a prosthetic leg, and there's a little L on it, and a, oh, that's the right foot, okay, no. And an L on there, so you don't get them mixed up and put the wrong feet on the wrong side. And now she has a flat foot, so she can be walking along the beach without her sandals. I would have much preferred a joint in the heel. I would have much preferred a joint in the heel, but this works, this is fun, this is cool, and it's great that it gives you the option. This doll also came with this adorable little bag, which I'm really impressed with. It's, again, sewn properly, you can put stuff inside. It's got these little R and H charms hanging down. It's just very cute, and again, really nicely made. Um, a doll with a bag like this, made by Mattel, would cost hundreds. She also has this adorable beach towel, which I absolutely love. The colours are stunning. Um, and it's really big. That's what I really like about it. Normally when a doll comes with a towel, the towel is like this big. But this is big enough for her to lie on in the sun and sunbathe, and I love that. Okay, now let's talk about this beautiful queen here. She's absolutely stunning. I love her blue hair. It looks like the sky on a tropical beach, love it. And it's got little flicks at the bottom, giving it a kind of bouncy, like Ariana Grande vibe. Again, she has a beautifully sewn uh, visor. This one I think is even more cute. And she has a little scrunchie. They are loving their scrunchies at Pacific Coast Academy, or high rather. She has these sunglasses, uh, which kind of look like aviators or something. I do not love these, so they are gonna come off. But, oh my goodness, this doll has such stunning eyes. Wow, and her eye makeup sparkles different colors. Obviously, all these dolls have rooted eyelashes. The quality, the quality is unmatched. I like the way her visor has like these long bits hanging down in the back, that's really cute as well. And her lips are stunning. Her swimsuit is really cool, it has like a tropical theme. Um, she has the same charms that the other one had on her bag, but this time these are on the sides of her bikini. She has cute little swimming trunks on, which I think is really adorable. They are actually done up with a real drawstring, which is really cool. Um, it's coming undone, I don't want it to come undone. There isn't any Velcro on the back or anything, you just, you take them off like you normally would a pair of swimming trunks. And then this one is already in her flat feet, um, and she has these sandals on, which I don't love, I'll be honest. They're a little bit tacky. I hate the gold, like, charm on them. The charm looks like a little girl's head with pigtails. Interesting. I think overall, though, this doll is stunning, but I think this one is my favorite. Like, the color scheme, everything about her is so beautiful. 
She does come with this cute little plasticky bag. Again, it is sewn together, but it's made of plastic and it has these gold and black handles on it. Very cute. And she comes with this towel. Um, I don't love it because it kind of reminds me of like Hollister or Abercrombie and Fitch or something, which I'm not a big fan of, but the colors are nice. She of course also comes with some, some spare legs and both dolls came with their own stands. You know, it's just the usual rainbow high stands and uh, some hairbrushes. Okay, there we go doll fans. I spoke about these two beautiful, stunning new Pacific Coast dolls. Or are they called Spring Break? Who, who knows? Please let me know what you think of these dolls in the comments. Let me know if you're gonna buy some yourself. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can check out more of my doll collection. And I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>